well in Australia, so. I did well. <laughs> I did well in Australia. <laughs> so next up we have P-Man. Uh, and this is P-Man against Tana. Mm. Tana is a good friend of mine now. We play a lot in Melbourne. He's got a very strong Sub-Zero. Uh, so I'm excited to see what happens here. Uh, if I had to bet on anyone, not that my betting history has been uh, <laughs> so far. <laughs> um, I would bet on Tana in this game. Yeah, I mean, even though, you know, P-Man's definitely my best mate and, you know, my training partner as well, he hasn't been playing at all. His Shinnok is day one, so <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see. Um, and does he... I don't think he has much experience against Sub-Zero's, Grandmasters in general. Min, he? like the guy in Brisbane who yep. used to play, and when MK first came out, he was probably the second best after me in Queensland. Um... He played Grandmaster Sub. He played Grandmaster Sub, um, Hellfire Scorpion, and Tanya as his three mains. Here we go. So I think this will just be a button check. Yeah. First ward, start things off. And has he gone with Shinnok? Yes, he has. He lost the Shinnok. Now this is actually really... What does he steal from Zabjiro? Ice Ball. And it's really not that good. Is it the next one? Or? It's like... You don't get any damage off it. You don't get like great reset opportunities off it. Okay, so, so. that's not the best move. To steal. And here we go. Tana versus Peeman. Melbourne versus Brisbane. You enslaved me. Now hold your leash. Well, yeah. Fight. Oh, not the classic from Sub Zero. Not down four at the start of the match. <laughs> oh, there it's we go. The jump, Ice Ball. It's the jump freeze. That is one thing, one piece of advice I'd love to give to everyone who's playing against the Grandmaster Sub. Don't jump when you see an ice cream. <laughs> I don't know why everyone's reaction to jump. Similar to Cassie Cage's missile, I think. Yeah. Nice, uh, check him in the back in the corner. Back in the corner, and... Oh. We'll punish that. No, he just tries to health spot. Oh my god. Maybe Tanner's a little bit nervous? Both players are getting nervous here. Whoa. Down three into... EX. Ice. Round two. Fight. Nice grab. Into the corner. Corner. Try to do EX health box on wake up. This is just not a situation where you want to be in general against the zero in the corner with the clone up. And this is reminiscent of me versus Tana actually in top 8 at BAM. Oh, I right. played Imposter Shin up against him. I just realised. Oh my god, he tried to do Ice Ball and Wake Up. No, he cannot counter with that normal. Nope. And uh, Tana takes One the first game very convincingly. If you were in P-Man's corner, what would you tell him to do? Or what play a character he knows. <laughs> but he doesn't play MKX anymore, so... I know, and it's yeah. tough, like, if you, if you didn't get practice in, you can only really play one character. Mm. That is one thing I've noticed about Tana's gameplay. Usually mid-screen, if there is um, an ice bone up, he will always run up and turn. Yeah, um, Tana is one of the more aggressive subjects. He doesn't really like to sit behind his ice bone. Yeah. Whereas when I play Zip Zero, uh, I just sit Lame as. Oh. Reversal. Yeah. Nice. Jackson back in the corner. First ice cream. Plus. plus. Yep. Doesn't block the other And this is looking. Uh, a Tana one-man show. Yeah, it's definitely pretty convincing for Tana right now. Yeah. Nice to confirm. Tana is one of the better, one of the best actually, I think, in Australia with uh, the Sub-Zero Ice Clone confirms in the corner. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That is one one strength of his that definitely can't like, you know, take away from him. Yeah. It's his confirm into the max damage combos as well Yeah. for Sub-Zero. And of course he is a day one Sub-Zero, so... You know, like, yeah. That's why. Character loyalists. And of course, Tana has 
some experience against you because I did play um, no punish. Taking the second game very convincingly again. What other characters could uh, P-Man go to? He's not going to, but going to. Marks Monero and Black would probably be his main. Nice armor. Here we go. No, P-Man drops combo. Let's get something started there. Tana on match point. I think this is the first prediction I got right today, besides Vlad <laughs> you know, versus yeah. the first game. Overhead. No, oh, that does not work. Yeah. That's true. Oh. Nice. 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 Knocked down. This is not where you want to be behind the clone. And he gets the extra. Oh, oh and saves the brutality. brutality. Well done to Tana. Taking that very convincingly 3 0. This is the problem with um, Shinnok, especially in this variation, because unless you play him a lot, especially this variation, you have to adjust your combos for yeah. basically each character because you steal something different off each character. Very so. extensive character because yeah. each matchup is very different. You know, like usually, say if you're playing Kung Lao, right? You can usually do the same thing in every matchup. You get up close, like say for Tempest, you get up close, do machine gun punches, EX orbital hat, mm. down four to check them, or realize the same thing. Yeah. Or run up throw. Well, actually, for any character, you know, like your combos don't really change against you know different characters. Yeah. But Shinnok is the only guy that you know you have to know, you know, each optimal combo against each you know character. Yeah. And we saw uh, P-Man drop the freeze that he steals from Sub Zero like a few times that that game, and that cost him you know, yeah quite dearly. So yeah, definitely if you know if you don't have that much time to play, you know you should definitely not play Buster Shinnok. That's that that's what I. I would uh, play Bone Shaper instead, and then yeah, you can actually do exactly. the exact same thing yeah, exactly. to every single matchup. Exactly.